Good, good morning, and welcome to a home vlog. I'm glad that he like doesn't freak out when we say home vlog now. Yeah, he used to get real scared when Look I would this. say. Those are my glasses, glasses, so I can see better. Look Maybe this. one day you'll wear glasses. <laughs> he might actually, because we both do. So you might wear glasses, bud. Yeah. It's true. You might not though, you never know. But we're hanging out at home today. So something that I wanted to show you because I've been showing you is my cup today. What is it? We're going to England. Oh, England. So we have our our phone booth, which it's not inside a British pub. Right, it's not full of high chairs. It's true. We have our, our rain, our umbrella for the rain, our teacups, a castle, Stonehenge, uh, like an old house it has a thatched roof. Oh, the a bridge? London Bridge. I feel like London Bridge is a little more <laughs> substantial looking than that. What's a... Uh... It might be an aqueduct. What is this? That's what? That's the waterfront. Oh, okay. You know? Where the water is. And I think... Cricket? Is that cricket? What are we looking at? It looks like tennis. No, that's squash. Oh, squash. I don't know. I made that up. What is it? Tell it us. It might be tennis. Yeah. Because Wimbledon. But, oh, well, right, duh, okay. Right? Yes, um, clearly we know things. But yeah, so today we went to England via my coffee cup. Yeah. But I also have mugs that are from places, like I have a London mug, I have a Manchester mug. So I just this think is it's- just like generalized England. Yeah, like do they have one that's like the United States? Probably not, hmm. but you never know. Interesting, so there you go. I feel like where's the, the, the airport that most people from Europe and the rest of the world enter the United States. Would that be in New York? I would say JFK, yeah. JFK? If I had to guess, but I don't, so I don't really know. At the Starbucks in JFK, maybe there's like a USA mm -hmm. mug. Oh, that makes sense, okay. Because this probably came from like... Uh, I think somebody sent this to us. Like Gatwick or something. Yeah, but um, this is, I don't know, I just, I really like these mugs. I like being able to kind of like look at all the things and I love reading your comments about it because you guys always have fun stuff to say. Yeah. So, Jack, yes, Jack. Look, That's what? you want to be in the video? You didn't look, like that it. I held your hand? You're in it. See, look, they can see you now. Are you happy? <laughs> Is that all you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. I'm also wearing my Tom and Jerry shirt oh, that we yeah. got for um, the top, the Warner Brothers people sent us like a Tom and Jerry package. If you haven't seen it, it was on Tim's Instagram. And we'll talk about that movie because we, we did watch it. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll talk about that today. Hello. Future Tim here. We realized while we were editing the, editing the video that we never talked about Tom and Jerry. I enjoyed Tom and Jerry. Me too. It was so bizarre how much I liked it. it I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't watch any trailers for it or anything like that going into it. And I enjoyed it. The plot didn't, like the plot made sense. The, the plot was fully flushed out. Like it was a story from beginning to end. But like going into it, you're like, why does this cat know how to play the piano? Mm -hmm. Like there was no backstory to it, but by the end of the of the movie, you're like, yeah, I'm glad that that worked out for everybody. <laughs> I thought it had a really good soundtrack too. Oh yeah. And there were so many like actors in it. It had so many big names. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I would probably watch it again, like in a year. Well, I think we would maybe watch it again when Jackson is because he's not really watching movies yet, but when he's when he's had that kind of a attention span, we'll watch it with him. Yeah. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Ooh, maybe we'll watch some movies today. I want to see Raya and the yeah. Last Dragon. We could watch that today. Okay, there was something else I wanted to watch too. The behind the scenes of WandaVision? Oh yeah, that's not a movie, but yes, I do want to watch that. Yeah, lots of stuff. So. Let's start the day. Yeah, get ready for a fun day at home. You know what I think we should do? What? Every time that you have a mug, we should base the video around that. So like today, we're just gonna watch Mr. Bean all day because that is England's <laughs> national treasure. I do people, okay, you know how people say things are like very British, but then, or very whatever country or culture, mm -hmm. and then people from that country or culture are like, that's not true. Mr. Bean is the embodiment of England. <laughs> are you sure, would you guys agree? Yes. <laughs> so this is what our Mondays usually consist of is we get our, <laughs> our grocery order together because oh, yeah. we're still picking up our groceries and then um we're doing, doing curbside yeah curb that's what i mean curbside pickup and then this little buddy runs around and we gotta chase him around the whole house what are you doing bud he's like sometimes i like to 
Yeah. Look longingly out at the pool. He yeah. does. One day he just sat right here and just stared out there for kind of a while. By the way, the pool is somewhat clean. Yeah, I think you <laughs> get the, uh, the chlorine today. Buddy! Oh, because remember we never got the chlorine? I just put chlorine tablets in it, so I like, and I put in some like anti algae stuff. Right. So it did like get it a little bit good, but I need to put like, I need to shock it. Buddy. And you know what we need to do, buddy? We need to shock it. Buddy, you want to have some eggies with mom? Hey. Mommy's going to have some eggies. Do you want some eggies? Yeah. I already ate oatmeal this morning, but I'm always hungry. <laughs> you do. Okay, let's have some eggies. Whoa. Jackson, did you just, oh no, are you trying to get off now? Here, let me see this airplane. Let's see your horse. <gasps> Look at you go. <laughs> Look at you go. Oh, can you get off? Ooh. Oh, you did. Yeah. And now it's time to go and pick up our groceries. Yeah, they're ready. It's a lot quicker than I thought it would be today. Yeah, it I is. I guess because it's Monday. It is one o'clock though. Well, but normally when we order them, like if we order them today, they wouldn't be ready till tomorrow usually. Right. So, oh. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it's our lucky day. Today's our, everything's coming up Millhouse. It's true. Ooh, are you making yourself some lunch? I am, I'm making a, well you can't really see it because I put my cheese on there, but I'm making a, <laughs> those are all my veggies, um, turkey and cheese wrap. Have you not put the turkey on yet? No. Oh, I thought you would put it on the bottom. Well, Put it on the bottom actually. So you all know that I like to give you my my ideas. Million dollar ideas. Here's one for you. So a, a, an app like Instacart where you put in your grocery order, but you tell it when you first sign up how many people are in your household. And then it keeps track of everything that you buy. And then when you're like, oh, I think we need toothpaste and you put it in your cart and it's like, are you sure? You just bought toothpaste last week and the average American household uses toothpaste at this rate, <laughs> it seems that you're using to toothpaste too fast. Huh. And then you'd be like, oh, I should probably go check. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we don't need toothpaste because we have too much toothpaste now. Mm -hmm. Jackson, do you have your new Crocs on? He looks like such a big boy in his Crocs. You hey. learning how to walk in your Crocs? Yeah. Look at you, are you doing a Croc dance? Croc dance. <laughs> I was cleaning up and then he found a piece of cardboard and he's like, I'm going to play with it now. <laughs> so that's why there's just cardboard in the middle of the room. We're trying to clean up the office. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Okay. You turn, turn on the radio. radio? He, he loves he to wants turn on the radio. Play a DVD, I guess. Look at these little okay. shoes. You want to help daddy? Thank you. Nice work. <laughs> look at that drool. Oh, look at that cool shirt. Thank you. I figured they... They're like, there's been an announcement. We know one house officially right. and one house unofficially. Oh. So we know that we're getting Beetlejuice. Right. For Halloween Horror Nights 30 this year, and they're calling it 30. Oh, are they? Yeah. I was kind of curious if they were going to do that. Yeah. All right. And then we also know there's another one called the Puppet Theater. Which I think that one we already knew about last year as well, right? Right. It wasn't ever announced. Oh. Like, they didn't ever be like, this is a house coming to Halloween Horror Nights 30. But then, like, that, the streaming service Peacock. Oh, that's right. They like, did the behind, the, video scenes. Of the behind the scenes. Of... <laughs> I feel like that's just what they do every year. Somebody, it's usually Publix. Are you trying to give me something? What'd you find? He'll find like a little speck of dirt on the ground and he'll just try to hand it to us. Are you going to wear your Crocs? Yeah, why not? Okay, I like it. I bought them. Jackson, you're going to match Dada. We have a little mission today. Right. Look at this buddy smiling. <laughs> Look at all this drool. Yeah. Oh, so he's got, um, we'll have to show you when we get back home, but he's got a, a bunch of teeth that came in. So that's why he's been so drooly. Okay. Yeah. And so like mouthy, like if you guys remember in some of the other videos recently, he was kind of like mouthing us. Yeah. And he does um, like this. He goes, ah, 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 ah. yeah, it's because he just had just, like, all these teeth. teeth. Yeah. So we are going on a mission though. We're going to Target today. Right. We are going to try to stay in the store for as little amount of time as possible, and we need to get our Easter items. Right. So, or at and least some of them. there's also a Christmas gift that we have for, all right, here you go. So, for Christmas, Tim got me this, which I, I was so excited to get this. I asked him specifically for this, and um, I saw so many people that were like, this is great, like, you should get this. This is so much better than, like, the $500 Dyson things. And I was like, awesome, yeah, let's get it. It was, like, 20 bucks. Um, it broke immediately. You're like quite <laughs> literally day one. Yeah, I literally used it one time and in the middle of using it, I went to go turn it off and it was almost like 
You know how when a nail is stripped or a screw is stripped, you can't, it doesn't, it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. That's what happened to this. It just kept spinning and spinning. It would not turn off. And I was like, oh no. So, I mean, I just unplugged it. But then when I went to plug it in, I thought maybe I can just plug it in and use it when I want to use it, I'll just plug it in rather than spinning it to turn it on, you know? And then it just didn't work at all. Yeah. So it's just completely broke. Tim even like took it apart and tried to fix it. Um, it didn't, there was no fix. So yeah. we're gonna see if we can return it because it's broken. And um, good news is Tim also got me this one because I don't, he wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I got this one. This one has not been opened. I'm guessing it hopefully works. Yeah, it's not. So this one, you like spin the bottom. Yeah. And this one's just a regular switch. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep this one. Return this one. Yeah. So we'll let's go. One. Oh no. <laughs> Which one are you gonna return? None of them. Okay, good. I love them all. Okay. So let's go to Target. T -t 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 Target. Where are my cards? <laughs> Where? What are those? They're they're called my sandals. They actually look really cool, and I'm sad that I didn't get a pair. What the heck? Yeah, what the heck is right? Why didn't you get any Crocs? Well, because I was like, I don't need any Crocs, but now suddenly I have Croc FOMO. <laughs> Guess who's sitting in the front seat again? Jackson? <laughs> no, me. Oh. Jackson's right behind me. He's playing with his laptop. Um, it's not a real laptop. It's like a VTech laptop. It's like a fake baby laptop it's for baby babies. Laptop. He's got his own blog. <laughs> a baby with a blog. Um, but I'm, we're headed to Target, like I told you guys earlier, and uh, not earlier, just a second ago, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was earlier. Okay, same thing. Yeah. Um, but I'm sitting in the front of the car. It feels weird. But we're gonna try to do this more often because Jackson is fine. He's, he's doing, fine. yeah, he's doing okay. So but the other thing is that the car seat that he's in is one of those like growing car seats that grows with him, mm -hmm. and so it's gigantic. Right. And it makes it so that the front seat is kind of pushed forward, kind of a lot. Oh yeah. Are you okay? Oh no, I'm fine. There's way more room in this car than there ever was in our other car. Right. So. But there's more room in the back seat than there is where you're sitting now. Oh yeah, I had more room back there. Actually, the seats reclined in the back, so I had even more room back there. Yeah. But this is fine. No, I'm, I'm like totally, I'm not even like touching the, the dash. Yeah, like I would have in the other car, so. Let me ask you all a question. We need to get the windows tinted on the car. Is there any place in Orlando that you all rec recommend? Yeah. That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Um, we know of a place that our friend recommended, but it's super far away. But um, if we can find a place closer, that would be amazing. Cause we definitely need to, and I want to tint the, cause right now we have this amazing like roof, sunroof that goes, like the whole roof is like a sunroof in the Teslas, but we have the- um, It's like a mesh. Yeah, it's like a mesh screen because it was too bright for Jackson. Right, cause he's so. basically like looking straight out at it right now cause he's like laying down. Yeah, well he's- Like reclined. Uh, yeah. So um, I would like to get this, oh, sorry, this tinted. Bless you. Too, so that we can take the, the thing off because it's such a nice feature of the car and we have it yeah. covered. We've made it to Target. It says Target over there somewhere. Yeah, I can assure you we're at Target. Yeah, look at all those carts. That's how we know we're at Target. So we found a little Easter area, some Easter baskets, Easter hats, Easter socks. This is fun, like some Easter sunglasses. I feel like you could be like the party rock of Easter bunny. Yeah. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, like... What about little... this? Do I look like a real carrot? Yeah. It's perfect. Is it? It's not e It's totally straight. <laughs> like the carrot did not go through your head like this. <laughs> we did a return and Jackson is keeping track of the return receipt. You want those carrot socks, buddy? Oh. Okay. Cute. You done with the receipt? You, you checked it over? It okay. Ooh, they have some nice hats over here. And what happened to the top of this hat? This is an incomplete hat. Oh, they got some Minnie Mouse sweats here. Pretty nice. They also have friends. Oh yeah, I have friends too. With the matching pants. Oh, they have like a whole Mickey Mouse section over here. Oh, do they? Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh, because... look, see, this is what I was talking about. Like this is that style of that shirt that I bought from the theme park outlet, right? It's not the exact shirt, but close, right? I like these shirts. I like this Florida shirt and I like this Sunshine State shirt. I like this because Mickey's like just a little bit off on the colors, but it's like, it goes well. It's like a neon pink. And then this one's fun too. It's like planets in the shape of Mickey. Oh, and they got some Grogu stuff over here too. I'm grumpy. Don't make it worse. I found my favorite shirt. Oh yeah? Kraft macaroni and cheese dinner. What do you think's on the back? Uh, something about the bare naked ladies. No. <laughs> 
Oh, the cooking instruction. Brilliant. <laughs> I love it. Is that weird or is that weird? No, I love it. Got some more Disney shirts over here. And then this one I really like. This Jurassic Park shirt is great. I kind of want to get this for when Velocicoaster opens. Dang, this is the large. I think this is a kid's shirt. Or no, I guess it's in the in the ladies section, so it's a ladies cut. We found this outfit that we wanted to get for Jackson, but it's, it's hot out now, so he would probably never wear it because it's like jeans and long sleeves. But it is cool looking. I always wondered, so we've grown up in Florida our entire lives and we have never really been to another Target. But do other Targets have this much Disney stuff in them? Because there's kind of a lot of Disney stuff here. Are we buying another rocking horse? Even though well, it's a rocking whale. Yeah. They have a rocking horse at home though. But isn't that so cute? It is very cute. They also have a bee friend. Remember his bee friend? Yeah, he still loves bees. This is so cute. Does it actually have wheels on it or something? Yeah, yeah. They have like plastic on them. Oh, okay. But yeah. That's pretty neat. I love the whale. The whale is super fun. And then the bike. Oh yeah, like a little bike. What do you think, buddy? Mm -mm. He's like, I want it. Which one? All of them. I thought for sure the Easter section would be bigger. It looks like it's only a couple of aisles right now. Oh, we should get him a really big bunny. Oh yeah, like this. Yeah. Ooh, Reese's eggs. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get too much candy. Oh, I love it. So it looks like they have more bunny ears back here too. Ooh. We should get them an Easter Nerf basket. <laughs> Why is that a thing? I don't know. But I do love it. Oh, this is a neat idea. They're like stencils for decorating eggs. Some garland, some baskets. Ooh, these bunny ears are much better. They really are. We'll oh, okay, yeah, Which we'll get those. Ooh, what are this? What are this? They're like, it's a cupcake mold to make little egg, like Easter cupcakes. This is so much fun. Yeah. Look at this giant peep. Oh, well, it's like Gudetama's sister. Oh, these are Manhattan Toy Company. Oh, yeah? This one oh, looks look, like a he's like, <laughs> this is so. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's like, get it away from me. No. Buddy, what in the world is this thing? Do this you love it? Oh, yeah, I want to get this basket We'll get him this one. Oh, my goodness. Edible grass. Oh. That's, oh, look, instead of making actual eggs, you can make cookies and decorate them like eggs. That's smart. So what kind of Easter candy do you like? Want some bunny bait? That's cute. Maybe some... we should get this so we can give it to the Easter Bunny so he'll stop. Oh yeah. What do you think? You Is that how that? the Easter Bunny works? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta make sure he stops at our house. Okay. Should we get some confetti confetti pretzel rods? Um, excuse me? Peanut butter cups with marshmallow on the top? Marshmallow flavored cream. Oh yeah, it's like an aisle of baskets. So what do you, you can get a unicorn basket. I love this one. Yeah, it's like a bunny. Seems kind of morbid. Right? I'm gonna stuff him with all the candy. Dang. My mortal enemy Russell Stover is innovating. <laughs> Look at him. He's got a gif to go that you dip the chocolate in, that the bunny breaks apart. For those of you all that don't know why Russell Stover is my mortal enemy, I would like to open up a store next to Russell Stover's and call it Stussel Rovers and charge like 10 cents or one cent less and sell the exact same stuff. I gotta get in a deal with Jif now. All right, I wanted to give you a little look at our Easter haul. We've got lots of different eggs, Reese's carrots, a grow your own flower kit, cookies and cream bunny, a sour patch bunny. Uh, there's two other bunnies back there, a Reese's bunny, a Hershey's bunny. This is so that we can lure the Easter bunny to our house so he'll leave Jackson treats. <laughs> and um, a little stuffed animal and uh, the basket. Yeah, so I think we're gonna have a pretty good Easter, huh? Right, buddy? We also got this Snickers peanut brownie, which looks real good. Four squares, 90 calories per square. All right. Are you serious? Yeah. That's Looks good. like I'm gonna be eating 180 calories tonight. Oh, it's 180 calories per serving. So it's two squares per serving. So there you go. A lot of information on the front of this uh, this candy bar. Hi. Oh, so while these buddies are playing, because you're gonna go to bed pretty soon. Yeah. Even though it's still light outside because daylight savings is sort of, sort of making it's everything plain. a little wonky, bud. Oh, whose plane is that? Yeah, that's mine. Your plane? <laughs> All right, so while they're playing, I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm just gonna cook up some crispy chickpeas 
I just toss these with a little olive oil and salt and pepper and cumin. And, and I have some red onion slices here that I just tossed with a little olive oil and salt and pepper. I'm gonna put these in the oven for like 20 minutes. And I'm also gonna make some quinoa with um, sun-dried tomato, cucumber, feta, I have some black olives and a little bit of spinach. And we're gonna toss our crispy chickpeas on top and just have like a little quinoa bowl. All right, my chickpeas have cooked. They cooked for, I cooked them a little bit longer. So they cooked for like 25-ish minutes and um, they're nice and crisp on the outside, but soft on the inside, which I really love. And then I have my quinoa is almost done. I just cooked this to like the package directions and I did about, about a cup of quinoa. And I've got my veggies all chopped up and ready to go. This is my sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I chopped up a little bit of like half a cucumber. I have some black olives, some feta cheese, and I'm gonna add my spinach to my quinoa just as soon as it's done and uh, get that nice and just like a little bit wilted and then dinner will be ready. So I have divvied up my quinoa mixture into two different bowls. I added in my roasted onions. I kind of wish that I'd gotten some sour cream because I think this would be really good with like a sour cream cucumber kind of mixture on top, but I, I don't have any sour cream, so. All right, there's a the finished dinner. I've already started eating mine. It is so good. I think I put a little bit of too much feta in it, but honestly, is there too much feta? I don't know. It's delicious. Really enjoying it. And this is just made of things that we just had in the pantry um, and in the fridge. So uh, it was an easy one to make. Highly recommend it. Well, all right. We had dinner. It was delicious. What, did you like it? Yeah, I really liked it. Okay. I always like olives and feta cheese together and then cucumber. I liked all of it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna name every ingredient. I like the tomatoes. Well, I, that I like... was actually my favorite part. They were sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah. I like that. For a second, while I was eating it, I thought they were craisins. <laughs> I was like, where did we get craisins? And how are they in this dish? <laughs> that I was like, no, those are sun-dried tomatoes. Because I hadn't yeah. eaten it. I like saw it on my fork and I was like, what? <laughs> um, it was super easy to make too. So I highly recommend if you have those things in your pantry, make it. Yeah. Delicious. Do it. <laughs> uh, so while we were at Target, we picked up some Easter outfits for Jackson. So he doesn't need any more t-shirts. I feel like this is just a thing. He kind of does. Does he? Yeah. He's starting to grow out of some of his 12 months stuff. Of his like onesies? Yeah. He's not a little baby. Like he doesn't wear, he doesn't wear onesies anymore. He still does wear onesies, but like we're moving towards t-shirts now. But isn't that so sad? Yeah. Like that makes me sad. <laughs> I'm sad, um, but we did get him some cute shirts. So the first one we got him was this little button up from Cat and Jack. It's got dinosaurs hula hooping on it Isn't or just like so T-Rexes. Yeah, I thought that was so adorable. So he can wear this maybe when like Velocicoaster opens. Oh yeah. Or just to Universal. I think it would be a cute Universal shirt. Yeah. Um, this one I picked out, I loved it so much. Another Cat and Jack. It says, full of sunshine. Full of sunshine. Just a fun little fun little t-shirt. This is the one that Tim picked out. I picked out. this one out. It's very cute. It's a yeah, turtle playing the banjo and some frogs. He's playing it for the frogs. Yeah. He's like, oh, oh no, no the they're, the they're in the, the band. band. There's yeah. a tambourine. A I couldn't. I was looking in the camera and I couldn't <laughs> see it. And some cymbals. Oh, oh, this says responsible style. What does that mean? Oh, it was made with at least 40% recycled polyester. Oh. Cool. Okay. Who knew? And then the last one is an Easter shirt. Oh, yeah. Two things that go together wonderfully, Easter and dinosaurs. This is so fun, though. It's like all these pterodactyls, they're looking for eggs. They're on an egg hunt. They're all Cat and Jack. I think that Cat and Jack at Target has some cute stuff, and it's all fairly inexpensive. They were all under $8. Oh, this one was 10 The button-down shirt was 10 That one was 10 But we just thought we'd get him a couple of shirts since he's a big buddy and he doesn't wear onesies anymore. Yeah. Now. Now what? For my favorite part of the night. What? We have to eat dessert. So we bought all this candy for our Easter baskets. And Easter is so far away. I know. <laughs> it is gonna drive me batty. Like to just be looking at that candy. I'm gonna hide it. I'm I'll not... know where you hide. I'll find it. Uh... <laughs> but because we didn't want to eat any of that candy because we need to save it, um, we did get a fun candy to try. We got a, a peanut Snickers brownie. peanut brownie. I'm very excited to try this because it's like did you already tell them about it? You did, didn't you? I showed it to oh, them. Oh, okay. 
It's things that I like. <laughs> like everything that I would enjoy in a candy bar. Mm -hmm. Brownies. Ooh, it's like one bite. Oh, no, I think you're supposed to take it. Okay. Because I wanted to show them what it looked like inside. Oh, there are more of them. <laughs> I don't know if it actually ever zoomed in. Yeah, it did. Mm. Can't really tell. It looks pretty good. Honestly, mm. it doesn't taste much different than a Snickers. Well, it's a Snickers, but instead of the nougat that you would have in the bottom, it's brownie. Yeah, but I'm not getting like a lot of brownie flavor out of the brownie. It's more chocolatey than a normal Snickers. Yeah. Oh, but I was kind of expecting, you know how brownie has like a specific flavor to it? Like it must be something to do with the flour or something hmm. being in there. This doesn't have that. Man. So I think they should call it fudge rather than brownie. Oh, you know what I never did? No. I what? just realized when we went to the bakery in Mount Dora, you took a video to show the things that we bought. Remember you made? Oh yeah. I don't know if I ever, if I ever put that in the video. Uh oh. All my hard work. <laughs> so when we went to Mount Dora, we um, went to this bakery. It was called Allison A Bakery. It was delicious. Here's me showing <laughs> off cupcakes. That, that strawberry, it was a strawberry lemonade cupcake. It had a little like lemon gel like inside of the cupcake. It was so delicious. And the Oreo cheesecake was so good. Yeah. And then I liked the peanut butter cupcake. Mm. That was delicious. And then what was the other thing that I had? Cookie. A cookie. Oh, that was my favorite thing, actually. You couldn't even remember it. I know, but I liked it. <laughs> okay. It was very good. You know why I couldn't remember it? Because hmm. the only thing going on in my mind right now is when you said we went to a bakery, all I could think of is that we went to Baker Acres Bakery. What's that? It's from Daniel Tiger. <laughs> it's the baker from Daniel Tiger. Because <laughs> Jackson has me read him a Daniel Tiger Christmas time book, and they go to Baker Acres Bakery, and they bake trolley cookies. Mm, okay. And that's, if you talk about a bakery, I'm thinking Baker Acres. <laughs> that's it. We've never watched the show though. I have. Have you? Yeah. Mm. It's not my favorite. No? No. I prefer the book version of Daniel Tiger better. Why? Yeah, I was, I'm a hipster, Daniel Tiger hipster. Mm. I like the book better. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's like the animation, it's, it's almost South Park-y. You know how South Park is like one dimensional paper yeah. type stuff? Mm -hmm. But it is three dimensional, but it, they like move not fluidly. Mm. So, I don't I know. I think it, we're more Bluey people. Oh yeah, it's great. I can't wait till Bluey's in the parks. Where? Who would own Bluey? Disney the or BBC? Universe? Yeah, well, it's on Disney Plus. It's on the Disney, oh, Disney the, Junior. Yeah, yeah. So like, right. <laughs> it's not a Disney show. Like Disney doesn't produce it, but they have, I maybe mean, they just have distribution rights for it. So maybe it would be in. Maybe that would that's be why amazing. we've never seen any of the characters in the park. Like I've never even seen merchandise for Bluey in the parks. Right. We've just never looked. That's like true. Like there is a store. I don't know if it's open right now because of COVID, but I think there is a store that sells specific like Mickey and the Rose to Racers stuff. Oh really? Yeah, it's over there by uh, Launch Bay, like right across from the Disney Junior. Area. I think Disney Junior is open. Disney Junior is open, but the gift shop why would is they... not. It's like over across. It's at the exit to Little Mermaid. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, yes. I know what you're talking about now. All right. What? Well, this, this has been your, your descriptive talk of where a gift shop is in Hollywood Studios <laughs> with Tim and Jen. I hope you liked it. Yeah. Maybe we'll find some bluey stuff there one time <laughs> after spring break is over because the parks. I like how you literally just go, after spring break is over. <laughs> that was Gonger. You turned into Gonger. We need to get some hags. <laughs> Do you guys watch Sesame Street and why is Gonger the best character ever? Gonger is amazing. <laughs> They had to cut up bananas for banana chips, and he didn't use a knife. He just karate chopped the banana but into, he also, into slices. He called them banana na na. Banana na na. Like, that's just like the whole time. Every time he said banana, they were making banana chips, yeah, because. Yeah, for uh, Zoe de Chanel. She loves banana chips. Right. Have you guys seen that episode? Also, like, banana chips seemed very easy to make. But I like how they, they like, left out the most important part. They're like, cut up your bananas, put on some salt. So Why did he need eggs? That was for the cake. Oh. It was a different episode. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and then you put on some cinnamon and then they're like, put it in the oven. And I'm like, what's the temperature for how long? And then it's just like later. They were just done. They're just like, oh, they're done. <laughs> I'm going to study Gonger's voice so I can do it. I think you're doing it. No, it's, it's kind of like a, a mix of a few different characters in there. It's not mm. exactly Gonger. I need to get 
Exactly, Gongar. I also, so we were talking about, you guys were the ones who actually told us about Gongar. Yeah. So we were talking about Sesame Street, and no, it was when we went to Sesame Street Land at SeaWorld. Yeah. And, and we were like, who's this guy? The food truck. Cause, yeah. Because well, they're, they're foodies. Right. They have the food truck. Him and Cookie they're Monster. They're monster foodies. That's what they're right. called. Yeah. Well, and somebody, we were like, who's this guy? And you guys were like, that's Gonger. He's my favorite, like, uh, Muppet or whatever. Are they Muppets? Uh, they're not. But He's my favorite monster. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> and so we were like, who the heck is this guy? I didn't think he was going to be so little. Yeah, but he's I from th- he's from the UK. Oh, he is? It started out at Sesame Street in the UK. Gonger did? Yeah. And he sounded like that? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I've never looked up old Gonger videos. We should. Yeah. Two of my, my two favorite characters are Gonger and Rudy. I Yeah, Rudy is not my favorite. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. He just isn't. He's, he's pretty negative. I, I think he's not really like... I've never seen him in Muppet form or monster form. I've only ever seen him on... Animated? Yeah, the Abbey's Adventures thing. That's true. So, like, is he a real guy? <laughs> is he imaginary? <laughs> he might be. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. There mm-hmm. you go. That's been your Sesame Street talk with Tim and Jen. Yeah. All right. He's the best. <laughs> I think we need to go to bed. I'm going to eat that one pound Reese's bunny right now. Are you? Oh, my God. I want to. It's for Easter. I mean, I can buy another one. I'm an adult. (laughs) Hey, kids, if you're watching this video, when you're an adult, you can just buy candy. Say you're going to save it for later. And And just just eat eat it. it, Eat it that day. Right? That's what being an adult's all about. That's what it is. You think they'll sell out of one pound Reese's bunnies by Easter? What do they do? You'll be so sad. You'll be the only one who doesn't have an Easter thing to open. Uh, This was a good day. I enjoyed it. Me too. Target was fun. Yeah, it was really nice to, I think because we tried not to spend very much time in Target, I think we went a little too ham on the candy aisle. Yeah. Uh, so also, was, there was like nobody in the Target. I know, it was really nice because we we try to stay away from places on the weekends, and we usually try to stay away from even the theme parks on Mondays, because that's when people start their vacation. So Monday is sort of like an extension of the weekend mm-hmm. sometimes, um, but Target doesn't doesn't operate on that schedule no nobody's coming to florida and they're like gotta go to target on a monday right so if you gotta go to target go on a monday yeah so all in all yeah. a fantastic day and with that being said we're off we'll see you all tomorrow and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price, price.